Pisces. What sort of connection is this between the both of you um, that's bringing the two of you together? Okay, you've got a let go connection here, which is quite interesting. Now, the number associated with the let go card is the number nine, which is a number of completion and fulfillment. Now, I'm not sure. I mean, this could go one of two ways, Pisces. A, this could be that this person comes in and helps you heal and move on from someone that you're supposed to be letting go of, at least for now. Um, or this could be signified that this relationship isn't destined to be the long term. You're destined to let each other go, but emotionally you'll prevail. You've got the beautiful Ace of Swords here. So what I love is that you'll come out stronger, but you'll also remove negative parts of yourself and this person at the same time. Now, just because this, the let go card has come up, it doesn't mean that this relationship can't be long term. It absolutely can, but it's going to be dependent on other factors in the relationship. Desires, needs, wants, compatibility, um, and feelings, okay? Most importantly, emotions as the, as the blue dictates the card here. So um, I do love that, that it does resemble an Ace of Swords because I feel like in a way the two of you will fight for each other. The Ace of Swords is about courage. It is about bravery. It is about um, taking matters into our own hands and getting victory, but we have to fight for that victory. We have to earn it. So I feel like if you are wanting this relationship um, to go further, which it absolutely can. It's got the number nine here, which is completion and fulfillment in your love life, in your relationship life. So there's obviously strong potential for that Pisces if that's what you're wanting. But I, I definitely feel for a lot of you, it's going to be this person is going to help you heal from the past somehow um, or let go, let go or detach from someone, uh, detach, sorry, from someone um, either for you or for this person. Okay, let go of an ex. Uh, an ideology, a partner, someone who was unhealthy for you. Let's have a look at the strengths. Beautiful. Nine of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Cups is the wish card, the dream card. Um, everything happen happening in order. Very, very beautifully. The cups are lined up. Um, the sky is bright. Things are looking up. It's your ability um, to fulfill each other's wishes, wants, needs, and desires, which is very powerful, Pisces. To have that as one of your strengths indicates you are able to meet the needs of your partner um, subconsciously and consciously. And likewise, this person will be able to meet your needs in a very, very powerful way. It is. It does point to bliss and it does point to happiness. Um, it also points to fulfillment. Again, the number nine is here. The card of fulfillment, this is emotional fulfillment where all your cups are filled. Um, and it's almost like it's a very accommodating energy. It's like this man is presenting themselves like, how can I help you? What can I do? What would you like? So I feel like the two of you could be quite accommodating to each other. And this points to the both of you being quite sensitive to each other's needs. Um, and you can be this way, Pisces. And you are a giver. When you're connected to someone and you love them, you will no doubt show them how much you appreciate them in, in very thoughtful, very sweet and sentimental ways. But I think this is going to be reciprocated and it's going to be one of your strengths that help um, this connection flourish or this relationship flourish. You also have the Ten of Pentacles, which came up twice around this person. Now, this is coming up as your strength. So I feel in terms of what you want out of a relationship, the legacy you want to create, maybe you don't want to have children or you don't want to get remarried or married. Maybe you just want to live a life full of adventure and love um, you know, and, and travel it's almost like you're going to conform and mold that relationship to be exactly what you want it to be and, and likewise what this person wants it to be. Um, say, for example, if you want to have the children or more children, whatever it is that you're conforming to, the legacy, if this is coming up as one of your strengths, it shows that the both of you are wanting something similar or the both of you can accommodate, please each other to help create that legacy. I also feel one of your strengths will be your relationship with in-laws, um, the friends of this person, and likewise, this person will be welcomed into your family. So there's approvals and blessings from the people around you. So obviously, there might be a lot of people that think you're a good match and they will help. Um, in hindsight, they will actually help support the, the, the relationship. Um, they will always give you good advice. They will always, you know, um, ad, uh, champion you and this person together. So I love that. Um, 
Also, if this person has children or family, I feel like it's it's going to be one of their strengths because it's going to showcase how committed this person can be to you and what they're capable of, of giving. Okay, if they've done it before, they can do it again with you. So, or vice versa. So that is quite powerful um, with that Ten of Pentacles energy. I also feel like career, creative pursuits, uh, the both of your career can complement each other and you may assist each other in that as well. Let's have a look at your challenges, however, Pisces, and see what comes up for you. Judgment card. And the Four of Cups. Okay, judgment in, in this context, it's being too judgmental or too critical in a relationship. Maybe it's how critical you'll be of yourself in this relationship, Pisces, or it's critical of this other person and vice versa. So this is something you're going to have to be aware of, how you pass judgment. Um, you know, oftentimes we do this in relationships, whether it's because uh, the flaws of our partner mirror those of ourselves, whether it's because we want them to be a better person and we're guiding them and the, the, there's sometimes there's good intention, sometimes there's intention to change a person. Regardless, judgment comes in many forms, both good and bad. But if we're reading it in a context of challenge, then the way you receive or give out judgment could be an issue or the way this person receives or gives out judgment towards you could be an issue. Um, there is a family here. So if this person has a past, as in like if they've been married before or they have children from another um, person, there could be issues here. Okay, There could be issues about... Um, the past, a family, exes might come into the picture here. Um, it could also be making judgment calls. That might not be one of your strong points. Uh, making a judgment call for yourself, for your relationship, um, or this person making a judgment call for the both of you. So that could be an area in which you may struggle. Um, there's an angel here. And it almost like it's the angel Gabriel that's her um, heralding some news. And you see this family that's they're coming out of their box here. So I feel as though um, if it's someone you're dealing with that hasn't had a relationship in a long time or if you've been a bit of a hermit in your love life, if you've been withdrawn, um, that can come back up, okay, because these people are emerging from the coffin here. So they've been in a bit of a slumber and suddenly they're not making the right judgment calls when it comes to love or they're making too many judgment calls because they haven't been in a relationship for a long time and, and that can happen, Um you know, the mind can forget, the heart can forget um, just how to conduct ourselves in a relationship or how to be uh, the best partner when we've been alone for so long. So that could be an issue for either yourself or this person. Also, the Four of Cups is here. Now, this is surprises, enlightenment, learning. It is unexpected things. So surprises or spontaneous things could be, think there'll, there'll be things that surprise you. Um, or it could even be narrow-mindedness. I say narrow-mindedness because this person is concentrating on the three cups because he can't acknowledge that there's something else here that's being offered to him. So it's he can't acknowledge because he chooses not to or he can't acknowledge because he's not at that stage where he's enlightened enough to do so, Pisces. So it could be you, it could be this person, could also be with feelings. Um, something about acknowledging feelings or expressing these feelings could be a bit of an issue, could be um, a bit troublesome. Because it's not, these feelings aren't acknowledged. Although they're coming from the hand of God, um, and this is the tree of life, um, I sense that A, it might have something to do with emotions, failing to acknowledge or narrow-mindedness, not being open-minded enough to please the other or to understand the other or to fight um, for the other. Um, or not assessing, you know, not managing things well because you can't see the perspective of the other person or you choose not to see the perspective of the other person. So, I mean, there, there could be a connection here for some of you um, with that. But it could be something to do with surprises or things that are withheld. Um, it could even be secrets. I don't think so. I think it's more to do with emotions and narrow-mindedness. I mean, that can change, but it needs to change with time. You can see that um, he's sort of thinking his body language is, is quite cross, so it's closed off, it's defensive, or it's trying. he's trying to soothe himself. You know, 
oftentimes the hands crossed could be a sign of defensiveness that we don't accept what the other is saying um, but it can also be a, a gesture of self-soothing of okay well this person is saying something um, and I need to console myself so it could be self-consolation failure failure to console the other person um, maybe that might have something to do with it could be a reason as to why um, I will leave it at that though Pisces I just want to thank you again for tuning in